Right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Midlife Crisis. We are Midlife Crisis on the move today, and we are at the Vault San Antonio to check on the progress of the Porsche GT4 with uh, everyone's favorite lovable uh, Munchkin. Am I? Yes. So, uh, Edward, as you guys saw in the last video, helped us get the Porsche GT4 ready for uh, PPF. So let's go ahead and check out the GT4, and uh, Edward can explain to us what he did Come on, in order to get it prepped. Come on. The vault has already washed this, got it all prepped up and ready to go. So Edward, what did you do before we brought this over to the vault to have them do their magic? Yes, no, I know you did. Okay, well yes. check it out. You abused the car. I didn't, I didn't abuse it. Yes, you did. I didn't abuse it, but I did put my foot down a little bit. So what we've got here is we've got a hood, and <laughs> that hood had a little bit of paintwork done to it. So what you saw was like some dirt nibs, stuff like that. It wasn't quite painted at the beach, but it did have its fair share of stuff that they tried to take out, didn't get out 100%, so. We gave it a little bit of wet sanding with some 1500, some uh, wet sanding with some 5000, and then came back with a buffer and just really worked it, worked it well. So it's looking good. Should be ready Should for be ready. our man to get going and put some protection film on this. Yeah, and you can see here, we've got the holes from the canards. Those will go back on once the PPF is applied and they were actually going to do hand lay the PPF on those canards, which we have down there with the Porsche logo. Tell you what, we are going to get going with the vault team, but before we go, I want everybody to give this video a big subscribe, uh, give that video a big thumbs up, because we're about to show you why it is important to do PPF so that you don't have to have your car painted by this man every year. Although you, you should sell an annual subscription. Mind. I don't mind yes. doing it, but if you can give me a little time to have a vacation, I appreciate it, man. I see that right here. But the reason I went to the vault is here in San Antonio, I have never heard anything negative about the vault. And everybody that I've talked to about where the best place to get your PPF done, everybody's recommended Brian Hutchinson to the vault. And so we're gonna give him a shot uh, and uh, see what magic they can do and what makes the vault different. Hey guys, welcome to Vault. Brian hey, Hutchinson Brian. here. How you doing, bud? Very good, how are you? All right, we've got my uh, Porsche GT4 here, and uh, I was told that you and the Vault are the guys to talk to in San Antonio about uh, protecting your car. Look at him blush. Yeah, I blush, I blush. So what, what sets Vault apart from the likes of all the other people? Um, in my opinion, it's, it's our attention to detail. Um, we're very personal with the customers. Um, we, we treat every vehicle as though it's our own personal car. So we put that little extra touch in there. All the the full fronts that we do, um, what sets us apart is we wrap around the edges. So I have another Z06 out there that, uh, that somebody else wrapped and he came Wait, 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 wait. How long has he owned it? So he's had it, long story short, he's okay. had it probably two or three months and it probably spent two months in the dealership with a new transmission. Oh, okay, okay. One of those brand new, Z06 stories. Brand new Z06. Um, but the PPF was not... Uh, well, the PPF was done in another city in Texas. Okay. Um, brought it here and I was pointing stuff out. I was like this, 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 this. He's like, man, your attention to detail. And I was like, that's just, we, we've done over 100 C8s now. Um, as far as Z06s go, I think we're on like number seven. Uh, my goal is to, to, to continue to do the Z06s. I feel that's what's really put us on the map. But uh, again, it, it goes back to attention to detail. We wrap all the edges. We make sure that, that everything is, is, uh, is protected and then we stand behind it. If anything lifts, if anything fades, if anything has an issue, we're here to help the customer. Um, so I feel that's kind of what sets Vault apart. Because other uh, installers would be like, okay, well, that's not really a warranty item. We're not gonna replace it. We'll charge you for it, but we're not gonna replace it. Whereas here, it's like, if there's an issue with, with the installation of the product, I'm gonna take care of the customer. So if he does something wrong, I can bring it to you to fix it? I'll, I mean, I'll charge I drop the ball, he'll help you know. I'll charge him. Oh, God. Now, the great thing about PPF, while it's not bulletproof, it will help protect if he's working on it and, and you drop a tool or something. Mm, that'll never will. happen. That never happens, man. No. <laughs> nah, no that happens when I work here. on it, not yeah. when they work on it. Brent so. juggles the wrenches when he that really likes it. They just wrap me in a big rubber Just bubble. bubble bubbling valve. So I can't hurt my own car. Yeah, yeah exactly. So uh, what is what are you going to be doing to the GT4? So GT4 is getting 
saying that we've already done a full hand wash on it. So every okay. vehicle, customers bring it to us and they say, hey, I've already washed it. That's fantastic. I still go back and I wash it again. We have our own uh, our own way of washing things to make sure that the paint is decontaminated, as Justin's doing right here, um, going through and clay barring it. And clay bar is important to make sure that we remove all the debris. And uh, after clay barring, then we'll do a, a light polish on it, make sure that all those little imperfections that you see are addressed, and then start laying the film. Um, and the film does take a little bit um, to, to install. Um, most people say, hey, can I pick up my car same day? Yes, but we typically say leave it overnight so that if anything lifts we can address it before it goes to the customer so i feel that's what also sets us apart we're not rushing to get the car out leave it with us we've got climate controlled humidity controlled storage out there the car will stay out there and uh and then we're able to to address anything that we see in the morning before the customer takes now you separate out so this is basically the clean room is that correct so this, this is the clean room. white on white on white here white on white on white a little dirty but uh yeah. It is, it is working, um, as you can see, some little water spots because we are working on a car. Yeah, I almost slipped. Yeah, we are working on a car, so... Um, Be careful, don't slip. <laughs> uh, don't slip. <laughs> Um, Disclaimer but, as we walk into your exactly business. Right. Exactly. But the neat thing about PPF is uh, it, 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 we're able to do it one person or we can take two people and uh, and really pay attention to, to how we're laying it down and make sure that, that our, everything lays down smoothly. So so how often is somebody like us coming in here and having everything painted right before the PPF is put on? Is it normally just brand new cars or is it somebody that just went through a respray? Or I'd say 50-50. Okay. Uh, the majority of cars we get are probably brand new cars. Like I said, with Corvettes, they'll pick them up from the, the dealer and they're brought directly here. We have RM towing, picks it up, brings it here. Car has six, seven, eight miles on it. That way you don't get any rock chips, everything's protected. But then we do have customers that have PPF on their car and we take the PPF off. It may not be Expel, it may be another competitor. Take it off and the paint comes off with it. So then it has to go get repainted. So there are times when uh, when, when cars will come to us um, already painted and then we have to put PPF on it. So we, we do recommend and we take it to the, or we do recommend the body shop give us a time so the body shop says, hey, the, the PPF or the, the paint is going to outgas for six days, seven days, whatever that time is, or if they double bake it, we go by what the body shop's recommendation is. But uh, but typically after the paint is um, is sprayed, we're able to put the PPF on it and uh, and then protect it. You want to take me and show me what else the, the yeah, vault has? Let's take a quick... So uh, it's not just tour. all the clean room, right? It's not, not just the clean room. The fun stuff is out here. All right. So out here, we, we do care for about 54 vehicles, um, customers from all over the world. Um, we used to say all over the country, but I have a lot of customers that, that come from different parts of the world. When they arrive into San Antonio, we'll drop their vehicle off at uh, their private hangar or another FBO. They'll drive it for a few hours, few days. Um, we pick it back up and it's brought back inside here. So we take care of everything. Um, every vehicle in here is connected to a battery tender. The tires are overinflated to maintain the curvature of the tires. Um, if it's in here for long-term storage, you're parked on tire savers. We handle the service of the vehicles. We handle registration, inspection. So whenever somebody calls us and says, hey, I need to pick up my vehicle it's fueled it's ready and they go and drive yeah i recognize this one i was gonna say you you would recognize yeah this, this is kenny and kenny kind of just like parks his cars randomly at people's In different places yes wherever you, you may know. see it here today you may see it somewhere else tomorrow maybe your garage or no i i we're we're in the middle of transitioning in the midlife crisis shop back to the dr flow design studio slash uh craig's garage but that's in an upcoming video but so i see you got another yeah so this is, a, this is a z06 i was talking about i think this is number six or seven for us this is the one that the ppf was done at another shop again it's still going to protect the car it's going to do what it's intended but it's the little details that i feel is what sets us apart from from other installers the neat thing about this car is it's getting a full uh, fab speed race exhaust You already got the factory exhaust off. Already got the heavy. I think it weighs uh, like 50 something pounds. We, we've done we've done a number of these. And we have it down to a science. We're pretty efficient with. Uh, so it's, you're just not about styling. You guys are actually doing you know mild mods, exhaust headers. Mild mods, yes. I don't I don't do any engine out. And uh, so you, you told me that you can take off a, a C8 uh, bumper, and you said like six seven minutes. It's about seven minutes. This one took me a little bit longer, uh, just because there's different things on this one. But uh, the Z06 bumpers take me around eight minutes. The, the base C8 is about seven minutes. The front bumper, which I'll have to pull on this one to do the radiator grills. Mm. Um, what I do on different, what I do differently than other shops is I don't squeeze a radiator grill up underneath. I actually take- I don't know anybody that did that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would- 
What's that? I Radiator grills being sque- squeezed underneath. I've squeezed a lot of things up. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I actually take the bumper off and then we attach it from behind. You don't see zip ties. You don't see any of that stuff. Um, and then we put the bumper back on. So front bumper takes me nine minutes. Uh, back bumper, like I said, probably about eight minutes. I have it down efficiently. It's easier and more efficient to take it off. We can put radiator grills on. We can put carbon fiber on. We can put an exhaust on and then uh, and put everything back together. Very nice. So we've got we've got storage. We've got mild modifications. we got auto styling. Pretty much uh, if they've got an idea of something they want to do, they should get in contact with you and exactly. see about possibly doing it, right? Yep. Phone number is uh, 210-438-2501 or 210-330-9870. And Operators are standing by. There you go. All right, well, let's go check out Justin and have Justin take us through the process. So what you're telling me is you guys are professional wi- window squeegee guys on the corner. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. It depends. Some sometimes. No, I'm not bringing them down like that. that. I don't know. I, I, I didn't. I wasn't saying that. I just never thought of it that hey, way. Those guys do a good job. They, they do, do a good yeah, job. Yeah, they do a good job. Piece of under reflection right there. Yeah, is that is that something Edward did? That is something that Edward did in paint. Probably. What is that, Edward? Is oh, that? something landed in there. See, bug legs? No. <laughs> Not a bug. What I've noticed. <laughs> bug what I've noticed. Here. <laughs> being a non-professional, this is what I've noticed. Bug legs. Every legs. automotive. Well, something's gonna go wrong everywhere you oh, look. Yeah. Painter, oh, yeah. restyling, whatever. Doesn't matter. Everybody sees something wrong with everybody else. Not Nothing in a bad way. Ever perfect. It doesn't matter. We're human. If exactly. you Nothing is ever perfect. You're gonna find it. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so you look fine here. Yeah. Looking for it. I think the best thing that I've ever told anybody was, we are on a rock that's spinning through space. <laughs> oh, that's the crazy part. <laughs> so is that literally Play-Doh? Uh, it's clay. You guys clay. are like... If I could make... Yeah. Uh, Show us a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> so what does the clay actually do to the paint or what is it actually doing it's essentially just grabbing whatever debris that's sitting on top of oh, okay um even stuff that you can't even see you can run your hand across it you may feel a tiny bit of grit to it yeah, if you want to rub the roof we haven't done that yet so my hands are wet but rub the roof and listen to it okay oh yeah you can hear it you can hear, so hear that so let's grab a okay little so clay bar in this fresh area so this i did clay bar so you can run your hand across this and you won't necessarily oh Oh, good lord that's like a baby's butt yeah yeah it's a huge difference oh wow you can't even really but and you okay i had three children and i spanked them all how about that not profusely but just a little bit all right so there's a quick little area there let's see a before and after in case the people at home didn't believe us we did it okay we did eyes. okay so same hand Oh, that's gonna try a little bit more. Oh, well, I was about to say, I'm sliding across like, yeah, well, <laughs> like Nancy Kerrigan before her leg got hit by Nan- hey, 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 Tanya Hardy. Let's not bring up old stuff. Oh, come on now. That, come on. Are, we, are we blasting back that We're far? blasting. That's how old we are. Okay, all right. We are, I mean, like, I don't know that these two gentlemen are that old. Today's uh, video was brought to you by <laughs> Hack a leg. old stuff that happened in the 90s. <laughs> was that? <laughs> now let's see. And we got music. And, and, and he said, oh, and smooth. That yes. was perfect. That was not planned. That is not, okay. I understand now what Clay Bar is doing. I gotcha. It's just removing something that you can't necessarily see it. Um, it's just and mind you, the car is clean. We've already gone through and washed it. But uh, washing it does not remove the tiny little rail dust, and those tiny little imperfections that uh, they get trapped up underneath the paint, unfortunately. And we do want to make the paint as perfect as possible because once the film is on there, anything that is underneath it is trapped underneath it unless you remove it. Take off as much as you can. And even if you have stuff that, like I said, you can't see, stuff that the clay bar takes off, the PPF is going to go on it, and you're going to see everything in the PPF. Just it's going to magnify it? Oh, I mean, it'll it'll bring it out. Oh, so. okay. And essentially what this is, is basically just a little bit watered down. Alcohol is just prepping the surface. And so what you need to do with PPF is the clay bar is going to take off all the grit. It's going to take off all the debris. But let's say you have a little bit of a wax on there, or even some grease from the shop or something like that. We want to make sure that all the edges, we want to make sure the entire hood is completely grease free. You know, you can use wax and grease remover, but you know, just a little bit. So that's, uh, is that isopropyl or yeah, is yeah, that? it's just isopropyl. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, it's just a little bit of water down. And so we just wipe the surface. Just make sure there's nothing greasy, no wax, no nothing sitting on top. Don't worry about the wax. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit to this conversation. Go ahead. If there's anybody with some experience at home, they're going, hey, didn't you guys just say 
that you painted that hood yes. and it's fresh paint. And then of course, you know, you cut it, you buffed it, all of that good stuff, yes. But I want to add in something that a lot of people do not know. Okay. Every paint, once you've painted it, it releases what's called an S coat. And that S coat is essentially, when it goes through its drying process, that protects it from all of the bird poop that could fall on it, anything that's coming out of the sky, whether it rains uh, too close to when it's painted, it actually flashes off its own somewhat of a whack. They're taking that off because that doesn't need to be between what they're trying to stick on and what, yes. And so gotcha. that's why they're wiping the edges so, so you know, perfectly. They're making sure that that S coat doesn't allow any delamination in the future. Yeah. Like you said, I mean, wiping underneath the edges, we do have the film that wraps around. Right. So it's very important that if we don't wipe these edges and we try to put the film underneath there, the film's going to lift. So mm -hmm. we want to make sure that all these surface areas are clean, that the film has something good to grab onto and not just a little debris that, that'll cause it to lift. So The PPF is supposed to last you 10 years. It's warranted for 10 years. So, you know, you don't want anything underneath it or you don't want anything that would get in the way of it needing to be on there for 10 years. Whatever, so uh, make sure whatever dirt, dust, debris may be in the air. It just kind of um, floats down on it. It floats down on it, you clean it with this a, uh, the with last a soapy bar. And then right before, or right after this, we'll hit it with a uh, slip solution and hit it with gel. Slip solution. I like the sounds of that. Yep. Well, yeah. It's all over the floor. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. You know, that's ah! thing. No, no pun intended. No. Exactly. All right, you are double fisted. What are you doing here? Yeah, what's the gel? Uh, basically, the gel is what we use to kind of seal the edges. Um, we put a little bit of a slip in the in the middle, so you know it kind of floats, and we're able to kind of move it around, and get it to the corners, get it around, and then we just kind of squeegee out, and then the gel is just the last thing to go out and just kind of seals the edges. Oh, okay. So why are you doing it like Yosemite Sam over there? Yeah. <laughs> you, you watch a lot faster. Faster. It's it's a little, little bit, little yeah. bit faster. Mm -hmm. He just got a jog and he watched, watched John Wick. John Wick, yeah. And so we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the PPF off and we just gotta keep it wet. Oh, okay. And again, double fisting. Yes. Double handing, double. So does this, this is a full piece or this is from a template that you guys were able to plot out? Yes. This is a template. Um, we have what, uh, what Expel refers to as DAP. It's a design application and uh, allows us to cut the film here in house. There's no razor blades or any cutting done on the car. Nice. Everything is cut prior to going on the car for a precision, uh, for precision fit. And you can do this one person, and it's just always easier to. It's always nice to have a friend. It's always nice. It's always nice to have a friend. And so we usually start for with hoods. We usually start at the corner. You know, you want to line up your easiest parts first. Okay. And then you kind of just want to like get all these creases out and some of this air out. So as Justin mentioned earlier, we want the film to float. So as you can see right now, the film is floating. We want it to move. We want it to move. So we'll go through and get our edges sealed up. And as you can see, emblems off. Yep. Uh, all the vehicles we do here, doesn't matter if it's a Corvette, if it's a Ferrari, if it's a Porsche, the emblem is removed, which allows us to put the film over that area and put the emblem back over it um, without having a cutout. Gotcha. So basically getting the lineup. Basically just get your major edges. Gotcha. Um, and then we can kind of just work in the middle. You know, it's such a flat, easy area that once you get all of your edges figured out, you just kind of go to town on the in, on the inside. Go to town. Yeah. Go to town. You know, you got a lot of hoods like the Tahoes and new F-150s and stuff that have all these crazy curves. So there's a lot more you know, technique to those. But since this one's fairly easy. Thanks, Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making things easy for us, Porsche. And if you didn't remove the emblem and for some reason we couldn't remove it, then there would be a cut out for it and then you would obviously line that up first but so it wasn't like a half inch off have to put the emblem back on yeah typically we'll let it sit for a few minutes or so allow the alcohol to kind of uh, run off until this gets uh, tacky again once it's tacky we'll go through and wrap it around all the edges 
Uh, so for right now, we're, we're waiting for that. We wipe off the hood so that we can see underneath the, uh, we can see under the film and look for any imperfections, anything that we may need to tackle before we fold over all the edges. So now you are wrapping, wrapping the edge. I'm gonna lift this up real quick, Justin, so we can show. All right, just underneath here, all these edges get wrapped down, which allows the PPF something to grab onto the backside. But more importantly, when the hood is closed, um, rocks can't impact this front area here. It looks so good. Isn't it satisfying, guys? Well, they're like, oh, we do this every day. The satisfaction's it is ended. Satisfaction, yeah. <laughs> Love it when you get Every car is different, uh -huh. as I said. That's right. <laughs> All right, you, so you've already clay barred the surface, and now we're going to get it ready for ceramic? Yes, sir. All right. Just like the you know, PPF, you want to make sure that if you're putting something on top of it that's semi-permanent, you kind of want to make sure it's, one, going to stick, and two, not going to have anything underneath it that'll, that will compromise it down the road. Okay, and you guys use Expel Fusion, correct? Yes, sir. One-time application? Really, just, yeah, apply once and, and done. Nice. This little applicator pad, I'm sure everybody's seen ceramic applied a thousand yeah. times on on youtube but just do a little bit on top you can go as liberal as you would like now do you just coat it once or you just go back over it multiple times or yeah you can just as long as you uh apply enough on there we use quite a bit only because it makes it a little easier to kind of level out if you're really kind trying to like save every single drop and then apply it just at least to us it just flashes so fast that it's just hard and it, it, we're then we're chasing we're chasing high spots and things gotcha like that. we go we go pretty heavy on there and then we just can kind of and you just polish it on or just kind of kind of wipe it off just kind of level it and then how long do you have to wait before you you know kind of test the hydrophobic characteristics um, of it? i think expel i think they ask for like 48 hours to 72 hours before you do any washing or anything like that. I think it's, I'm sure it's probably good after, you know, 48 hours, but you know, it's always good to, to wait the length of time that they ask. Gotcha. You know, they're always going to be a little bit more uh, conservative on that end. It's usually, it's usually good to go in about eight hours. And then, so you just use one side and then you use a dry side to kind of buff it and level everything out. Now we're gonna let Justin get to it, let him finish this up. And next time you see us, we are gonna be picking up the 981 Porsche GT4 once uh, Vault does its final magic. Justin, thanks buddy, no problem. appreciate it. Well, we are back at the Vault to pick up the Porsche 981 GT4. The Vault did a killer job. We did a full uh, polish, Expel PPF and Expel Fusion uh, ceramic coating across the whole vehicle. We just did have some rain we got some rain clouds up there and we got to check out the entire hydrophobic action uh, from the Expel Fusion ceramic. So uh, the vault did a great job and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. If you're in the San Antonio area and thinking about getting PPF on your car, ceramic coating, need automotive storage, please check out the guys at the vault. Uh, I'll drop a link down in the description below with all their contact information. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. It is touching.